Hello and welcome to the Chobo Team League's Gold Game of the Week! I am super excited, hope you are. And today we're looking at Protoss versus Terran. It looks like a little talk here. Such amazing art on the screen. Yes, it is, Aaron. Yes, it is. Oh, it looks gorgeous. Oh, yeah. And we're looking at two monster teams here. And, well, let's just introduce our players here. From Team CT6, technically it's Chobo Team 6 because it's a 16 to actually join the league, but whatever. Oh, excuse me, let me just change this here real quick. Holy crap, that's loud. I think that's good. <laughs> Alright, from Team CT6, we have Krieger, which I think is German for Krieger. I'm actually not sure if it's German, but if it's German, I think it's pronounced Krieger. Or maybe his name is Krieger. I don't know, he knows English very well if he's German, but good for you. And in the bottom right corner, in the red trunks, we have from Team team Born Gosu. I know I say Gusu, but it's Born Gosu, and good for you. It's ACR Aaron. I'm not sure what ACR means. If it was a V, it'd be like a VCR, like that tape thingy, but it's not, so let's just pretend I never said that, because it had no relevancy to his name at all. So anyway, ACR Aaron in the bottom right here, and it looks like he is just doing the normal kind of walling off his ramp, which is always a great decision, just in case there is some kind of weird two-gate cheese outside his base or whatever. Wow, these guys are pretty chatty. I had dreams for a few days when it was announced. Haven't played enough Legacy of the Void to say. Probably when the beta was released. I think this was like a week or two ago. Uh, I don't know. My days are always off. And it looks like he's going Gateway. Has not expanded yet, but... Oh, uh, let's see. It's a Gateway expansion. Or he's just going for a Gateway straight to... Uh, Cybernet's Core. I'm going to assume it is. Maybe. I gotta read this. I can't just not read this. Played Zerg accidentally, still won. <laughs> so when I played Protoss, I played was bad. It's not fun. Right. <laughs> ah, these guys aren't even worried at all. It looks like it's not even a full wall off right here, so I guess he's not really worried about cheese. And actually, interesting enough, neither player has decided to scout. Nope. No scouting for either player. But it looks like Aaron is going to be the first one to expand. And Krieger needs to actually expand rather quickly. Or else he's going to be left behind in the income gap area here. He only has 12 people on the mineral line. He has been unfortunately supply blocked, which is not very good when you're going to get somebody who's expanding right away and he's not making that many mistakes. Um, I don't think it's really that bad of a mistake. Anyway, Reaper on the field, trying to do as much damage as he can. Stalker about halfway done, not quite complete, so it looks like he's going to get a few kills here. I don't think he's even got one yet, yet. And Stalker pops out, it's going to shut this down very quickly. Mothership Core, actually not on the way, surprisingly. But another Stalker on the way, and it's going to push this Reaper back. He didn't do anything at all, except maybe a little bit of scouting to see what's going on. And actually, funny enough, he hasn't ex actually ex seen his... Ex if he has an expansion yet, but instead going straight for the factory and bunker for his base. Two marines on the way, so it's not going to be anything cheesy coming from Aaron. Not, uh, but ooh, look at that Stargate on the way for Krieger. Let's see if he's going to go for that Oracle right away. Uh, not a cheesy Oracle, mind you. Just a uh, oh, he actually sees that uh, Stargate now. Is he going to cancel that? Go a different routes? Play some mind games, or he's going to keep it and maybe make some void rays? A Phoenix kind of. Uh, Play. Not exactly sure what to see. It. Let's make that go away. <laughs> no expansion. So this is uh, not looking good for Krieger. He's only on one base. So what is that telling Aaron right now? I'd be a little afraid. I'd be all like, well, something weird is headed my way sooner or later. Is this going to be some kind of weird blink oracle thing going on? Uh, but unfortunately, none of that is happening. Um... Yeah, as Aaron, if I was Aaron, I'd be confused as fuck. Um, <laughs> what do you expect? I mean, yes, Oracle is on the way, but I mean, you're on one base and you have so many probes at your mineral line. I mean, you need to expand. 
I mean, if this uh, oracle fails, I mean, <laughs> nothing good is going to come from this. Warp gate is finally finished. Oracle is going to come out right now. And there are four stalkers in the field. He's going to try to expand, but this Reaper is going to stop him from doing so. Actually, no. I thought he was going to take him out a little bit quicker than that. I thought he was a little bit closer, but I think it was just a little bit off. So he has now expanded at the seven minute mark. I think it's a little bit late in order to get this Oracle out. But whatever, here we are. Let's see if he does any damage at all. He knows. Yep, he's got his missile turrets up. He's not. Well, well actually, this is a really weird spot for that missile turret. Usually, you put it right over here. So he's got a nice little sweet spot. But he's got to be careful. He's going to lose his Oracle. Ah, uh, oh, with the very last shot. He turned around for a second. I'm not sure why, but god damn it. <laughs> yep, that's the proper reaction. Losing your Oracle this early in the game is. A oh, pretty harsh loss. Oh boy, he's got enough stalkers to hold anything off coming his way at this point in time. But uh, yeah, another oracle on the way. He's gonna need some <laughs> ripping pepperonis. Yeah, ripping pepperonis indeed. Looks like Aaron is gonna come out and try to be a little aggressive here. Let's see if he's gonna lift off from this base and you know try to sit that uh, mine right in the middle of his. Uh, Mineral line. A lot of awes in that sentence. It's like, oh. A little bit of oh. He's got two wooden mines. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's what he's going to do. He's going to lift off. Yep, right over here. Probably a few more Marines. That'd be, oh, no. He's going to do a little bit in misdirection. Instead, he's going to send his Marines straight for his natural. And drop a few uh, mines in his mineral line. See if he reacts fast enough. Because this could be a game changer right here. He's not reacting at all. He doesn't even know this is here. Until now, uh, nice little micro. Only gets six kills out of it. I mean, it could have been much worse. Could have been much worse. But he doesn't really have any detection. On the other side here, all of his marines are completely crushed by these stalkers. Completely crushed. So what do you need to do? He needs the oracles back home and actually get that detection going. So he doesn't have to worry about that anymore. Um, oh, no, it looks like he's going to lift it up and run away. Oh, that one's almost complete, but... Ah, there's no mining at all going on for Krieger! Gets a few more kills. I think uh, eight altogether. Still not a bad Widow Mine drop. Actually, I'd say it's actually a pretty effective one, even though he didn't get crazy amount of kills. He did delay mining time for a good minute and a half. A good minute and a half. And he only has four probes working out his natural here. Now he really... <laughs> Really needs to move some of his probes. And there you go. That's perfect split. Nice. Beautiful. <laughs> I'm not even sure how this medevac actually survived. But holy cow. Look at this uh, production tab for uh, Aaron over here. He's making a little bit of everything while uh, just building probes for Krieger. I think... I'm not sure exactly what position he's in right now. I think he's a little lost. He's a little confused. He's just uh, making a bunch of stalkers. Uh, warping in a few of these sentries. Oracle Harass has completely failed here. Only got, I think, uh, what, two kills? Actually, didn't get a single worker kill at all. Really? Not a single worker kill? Wow. That's that's not good. Yeah. Aaron is doing a bang-up job of uh, keeping Cricket at his base, at least. I want to say he's actually keeping him at his base. He hasn't really done much at all in the game. Um, Krieger just seems really behind in economy. I mean, he's not doing terrible. He finally has a second up. He's building his probes, getting things going. He's going to get, uh, I'm pretty sure, six people on gas right away as soon as possible. Um, but what is his plan? He doesn't seem like he has uh, much of a plan. He's just, uh, he finally gets a reward today. Uh, I'm assuming he's going to get that Colossus. Because Colossus against Saren is always good. Getting to have one Void Ray. Um, well, he's going to get uh, a Bio Terran, but... He is starting to build a bit more production. He's got his two bases up proper. And I think he's about to start his third in just a moment here. But uh, actually, this might be a pretty even game. A, a bit more even than I, I uh, suspected here. He's building this wild art's good idea against stalkers here. But I, I thought he would have a little bit more by now. But... Uh, the good news is he does have uh, his upgrades. He has four medevacs. And this could do a lot of damage here. 
I mean, these are Lost Stalkers. And let's see if he actually does anything. It's set actually uh, both uh, are actually on the move command, so no one's really attacking here. But the Mirage's doing a lot of damage to these. But I still think there's just too many Stalkers here doing too much damage to this. Pedoc's trying to heal as much as they can, but now it feels like it's time to dip, and only two of them survive on the way out. Doesn't pick up absolutely anything at all. Actually, doesn't really do any damage at all. And this is the time Krieger is going to start moving out and see if he can do a little bit of damage on his own. This is actually a pretty good time here. Since Aaron is just trying to get his third up, to not much uh, defense right here. While he has his bunker up here, no bunker or anything or any tanks to actually protect his third. So he's just going to walk in. Actually, he's on the move command. He's going to lose almost every all of his stalkers here. Well, wow, that's a bit of an extreme statement right there. But does lose a good half of his force from that. And now he's going to be completely destroyed. There's just two Mirage. He tried to dip from that, but loses absolutely everything. That was... Oh, that was bad. That was not good. He didn't know that third was there and all of his force was there. So I think he just kind of moved there. Rather than a move, he just moved to probably about this location out of his natural. So <laughs> it's 113 supply to about 73 supply. Let's see where all that's going. Eight stalkers on the field with uh, a warp prism. Where is that warp prism? Well, he should probably at least do a little harassing right there. But uh, might have... No, he's clicking on it. Oh, no, that's me clicking on it. <laughs> Ignore everything I just said. Against, uh, let's see, what do we have? Two Wooden Mines, eight Marauders, and 27 Marines. Oh, this is looking pretty scary for Krieger. He's not in the best position here. He is pretty low in supply. He's going to try and uh, do a little bit of harassing with that Warp Prison, but it might be a little bit too late. Aaron has a lot of medevacs over here with a bunch of uh, Marauders as well. I think nine Marauders, ten Marauders here. And he's gonna completely take out his service since there's nothing to protect it at all. And that is, he just lost 400 minerals there. I didn't get any mineral income from that at all. So he is in some trouble right here. Krieger only has, what, two of these uh, void races? Actually, just does a uh, good amount of damage here. But, uh, actually, I think he might have enough just in time. But it looks like he's going in for the attack. Uh, force fields going down, but. Uh, really doesn't do anything. Blocks off a couple Marines and uh, Marauder, but I don't think those force fields were good enough. He needed to put another force field right here. Actually push him all the way to in one spot, but unfortunately he did not do that. And there's just too many Marauders here, and it, uh, it also has an upgrade advantage. He's got 1-1, one, one, actually 1-2 one, right now. 2-2, two, two, uh, actually 2 armor on the way here. So he has a huge upgrade advantage along with these medevacs, and his bio is just going to push him back to his main. And his natural is going to fall very quickly here. He's trying to warp in as much units as he can here. Plus three attack on the way for Terran here. But this is not enough. This is nowhere enough. <laughs> he never made anything from his robotics facility. He went sh just straight uh, warp gate here. And it just wasn't enough. So GG comes from our Protoss player. And Team Born Gosu wins the week with Aaron's win here. <laughs> and I really thought Krieger was going to do a lot of damage here. I um, mean, he did have a superior force to basically what well, this is pretty much what it looked like over here. But instead, he was on the move command, lost nearly half his force. And, uh, yeah, after that, it was all downhill. He didn't really tech up at all. I mean, he, he built a robot to see, but did nothing with it. Oracles failed to do anything, unfortunately. That was some bad luck. And, uh, Aaron kind of took control of the game here. Um, so that's a great game by Aaron. And, uh, congratulations. Aaron from Team Born Gosu, and better luck next time, Krieger. You played well, but uh, just didn't get that tech upgrade. Anywho, thank you for playing in the Chope Team League, and I hope I can cast some more of your games. Anywho, GG!